In the blistering heat of Accra at the Black Star Square, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris sought to inspire the continent's youth. A speech that encouraged bold thinking, women empowerment, digital inclusivity and good governance. Guests started arriving at 8 a.m. when the gates to the Black Star Square were opened. Cameramen working on the ground set up as early as 5 a.m. By the time Kamala Harris arrived, it was 11.30 a.m. Before then, the crowd made up of students, creatives, entrepreneurs, beneficiaries of U.S. exchange programs, waited in the baking heat, VIPs with a seat, and everyone was with a complimentary water and fun to deal with the weather. As the crowd waited, there was at least one speech that echoed the need to give women opportunities at major decision-making tables by Shamima Muslim, convener of the Alliance for Women West Africa. It is a story about Ghana, about Africa as a continent that ranks low in many development indices. As we make our way up the transformational ladder for better representation of women, for better health care, education, infrastructure, youth employment, amongst others. Kamala Harris's speech mirrored some of that. For about 20 minutes, she told the crowd about the need for more women participation in governance and economic development. Women around the world must be able to fully participate in economic, political, and social life. And they must be able to participate equally including in leadership roles. It is a key to maximizing global growth and opportunity. However, we see gender disparities around the world, including in the United States. Disparities we must all address. And with digitalization taking over every aspect of life, Vice President Harris added that the U.S. will invest over a billion dollars in digital economies of the continent. African ideas and innovations will shape the future of the world. And so we must invest in the African ingenuity and creativity, which will unlock incredible economic growth and opportunities. Yet, we must also be candid about the challenges. We must tackle these challenges and find ways to accelerate opportunity, growth, and stability. Some people reacted to the Vice President's speech. For us as Africans, we have to ask ourselves, really, what are we also bringing to the table? Because we know that there's a, a scramble for Africa again. China, Russia, and now the United States wants to reaffirm and reestablish itself within the continent, you know, and build strong ties, you know. How are we, in a way, exploiting all of this relationship to our benefit? She talked about um, women empowerment. She made her points very strong. Women should begin to take their place. This is not a time for anyone to sit to be given what they deserve. When that time comes, we should have ready women, prepared women. Beyond her Ghana visit, the Vice President of the United States is headed to Tanzania and Zambia to meet with presidents of both countries.